On December 1st, 2013, I was the fourth person to ever achieve a level 9 kit in Blitz, which was just days behind Rumble Crumble, Proline, and Vortex. And that kit, of course, was Horse Tamer. Back in the day, a 5 kill game would grant you only 400 coins if you were a VIP+, plus, of which I was, so this means that level 9 horse took me more than a thousand wins to achieve. Now, if you compare that number to now, a 5 kill game could grant you up to 2,000 coins if all the boosters were up and you were a 5 times. Times have changed! I quit playing Blitz back in January of 2014 when I was at 100k out of the 1 million coins. I played that game like hell and then started playing a lot of Mega Walls because that was the new great thing at the time. So I returned back to playing just last month, and over the past two years I had accumulated 200,000 coins just for doing quests and really, really casual playing. I was under the mindset that Blitz has turned into this toxic mess since I last played, and well, I, I wasn't wrong. Blitz isn't what it was three years ago, when it was in its prime. Now most people have level 10 kits, something that would have taken thousands of wins back in the day now takes less than a thousand. I've even seen a few people with level 10s under a hundred wins. When I checked how many coins I had and then compared it to other people with similar stats as me, it turns out that I only had like a third of the coins I would have had if I got all my coins in this new economy. It really sucks, but I mean, being one of the first few people with a level 9 and being well ahead of every single person on the server really is a great achievement. I worked hard as hell for my level 9, and compared to then, I barely did anything to get what I have now, which is a million coins. So to grind out the remaining 700,000 coins I needed, it only took me about 70 hours to do. It's really not that hard anymore, and compare this to then, it would have taken many, many more hours, like double the amount of hours, triple, maybe. But now after I get this level 10, I will be able to get wins even easier, because most of the level 10 players now aren't even good at the game. They would only kill you because of their superior gear and their ability to two-hit you with their iron sword. So yeah, enough talking about the good old days, 2013 is far in the past, and of course the time is now. It is time for me to complete the two and a half year grind for my horse 10. Okay, uh, I think I'll, I think I'll get, I'll get it now. Back in the day, Horse was the most used, broken kit of all time, and I'm completely aware that it is arguably one of the worst kits in the game now. I bought it to complete this two year journey, and now I guess I'll be playing the first game as a level 10 abuser. And it probably won't touch Bliss for another long period of time, but who knows. So yeah, let's get into that live gameplay. Alright, so it's been a couple hours since I, uh, since I unlocked Horse Tamer 10. I just really haven't felt like playing at all. And, um, I, I know some people usually get, like, kit hype where they get level 10. I, I don't have kit hype. I, I don't... It's not important to me that I got this. But it is a cool thing. Yet, after three and a half, or two and a half years, sorry, of grinding nothing. When technically I got all the coins in, like, two days. Yeah, I'm from 2048 hours of Blitz boosters. I mean, this took, like, no effort to get. And, I, I mean, I'm not not too psyched about it. It's just a thing, and I probably won't be playing this anymore. Well, okay. There's there's a reason why I stopped making these live commentaries, because I have nothing to talk about. 